All right, so our next step. So at this point, we've got Android Studio installed, we've got Git installed, and we've accepted the uh, assignment on GitHub Classroom. So we're good to go. The next step is to get this code, which currently is only living you know, on GitHub server somewhere, into our copy of Android Studio so that we can work on it on our own machine. So I've got Android Studio running right here. I've got my code here. And so here are the steps to, to do this. Now, now this will fail pretty badly if you don't have things set up properly. So, so if you get stuck and like, for example, you don't have Git installed, not gonna, not gonna work. Um, so let's, but, but let me show, walk you through the process here. So I'm gonna click on the code link. Now there's a bunch of different ways to mess up at this point, right? So be careful, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna take either, probably for you, you probably wanna use this HTTPS link. So you wanna click on this and then copy this link. I'm gonna use the SSH link. It's just cause of how I have things set up on my own machine. I use GitHub a lot. So I have things set up a little bit differently than you might. Um, you're probably gonna to wanna to use this HTTPS link. What you don't want to do, do not download the zip. This will lead to a configuration that does not allow you to submit your code properly. There's probably a way to get this to work with GitHub Desktop, but that's not how we do it. So, so don't do that either, right? The thing that is guaranteed to work is if you take this HTTPS link or the SSH link, if you know what you're doing, and copy that and then use it the way I'm about to show you. Okay, so you're probably gonna take the HTTPS link, copy it. I'm taking the SSH link, I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna go over to Android Studio. There's a button up here at the top that says get from VCS. And what does that mean? Version control system. So this essentially allows us to, uh, rather than opening code that's on our machine, to acquire the code directly from a version control system like GitHub. So I'm gonna click on this and it's gonna ask me, so the version control should be Git. If this doesn't show up, then we have a problem with having Git installed, so we need to work on that. Um, I'm gonna click the URL. It's gonna choose a location for me. This is totally okay. Um, and then I'm gonna hit clone, all right, boom. Uh, and now it's gonna load up uh, the, okay, so I, I wanna trust the project. Uh, hope, hopefully you trust us by this point. Uh, we're not gonna like destroy your system or anything like that. Um, and you do need to actually uh, run the Gradle, uh, the build script using a tool called Gradle in order to set up the project, right? So I'm gonna hit trust project. Now, at this point, something to get used to is that Android Studio can go through periods of time where it is doing stuff. And it's not always great about telling you that. So down here right now, you'll see Gradle says configure products, projects, build model. This is running pretty fast on my machine because I already have a lot of the sources that it's trying to acquire. On your machine, it may take a lot longer. If you're on a slow internet connection, this may be a good time to, to grab a cup of coffee. Um, if you are overseas, this may not work at all. So we will help you with some workarounds uh, but if you are behind a, a very restrictive firewall, you may need to use the Illinois VPN uh, is one option, or you may need to explore other workarounds. There are ways to do this. We've had people complete the MP using a similar process from all over the place. We've done this for years. Everyone who's wanted to do the MP has been able to get this set up. So we can do it and we'll work together to make sure that it happens. Um, but it may, that step may uh, be slow on your machine. And if it really feels hung, um, then let's talk, right? Come to the forum and, and we'll work it out. Okay, so what, you, what you'll see is the README. It's very brief. Um, I'm just gonna close this. Uh, now over here on the left, there's a project tab. I wanna open that. The, there are different uh, views that Android Studio allows you to take of your source code. I typically like to use the project view. I guess Android view is a thing. I don't really use it that often. I like to see the project view gives you more direct picture of what files are in this directory. Right, what are the contents of, of this? And there's quite a few files in here, and we are gonna talk about a lot of this together slowly, one piece at a time. So there's a tendency sometimes when people start, you know, poking around with the MP to kind of like freak out. Like, what is all this stuff? And don't worry, right? There's stuff in here you're not gonna understand now, and there's stuff that you won't need to understand even by the end of the semester. And we're gonna lead you to the places where you need to make changes, and we're gonna talk about how to do things, and we're gonna guide you right? This is as much a tutorial as it is an assignment, right? Part of the goal here is to help you learn how to follow instructions and also give you some experience working in a larger piece of code, right? Than the small snippets that you've been working on so far. But this is a big, big jump and we get that, right? So the trick is don't be scared, right? You got this. We're going to be there to help you every step of the way. Okay. Um, 
What should we do first? Well, uh, if you have an emulator set up, and if you don't, I would encourage you to pause the video and do that, um, you can run the code. That seems like a fun place to start. So let's actually run the app. Now again, down here at the very, very bottom where it's hard to see, can you even see this at all in my video? Let me look. Uh, I wanna make sure that this is actually visible. I think it might be covered up by my stupid face. Oh, shoot, okay. Well, let me move my stupid face uh, over there. Uh, that's better. And you'll see, okay, so now you can see down here it says Gradle Build Running. Um, and, and all I did was click on this Run the App and it feels like nothing's happening. And I kind of wish that Android Studio was better about telling you what was going on. Um, but you kind of got to get used to looking at these various parts of, of its UI to figure out that like, oh, it's actually busy, right? It's not stuck, it's not broken. There's just something happening that might take a few minutes. You're building an entire Android application. This might take a few minutes, particularly if you're on a slower machine. I'm not on a slower machine and it's still taking a few minutes. So, you know, just, just be patient, right? Um, so what's happening right now? Um, there's always these awkward moments with Android Studio where I have to vamp while it thinks, right, and, and works on stuff. So it's actually building the entire application. It's building your entire app, right? Um, you know, and now that it's done, it's gonna actually run it. So this cool window pops up. I see this emulated Android phone, which is super cool. And now it's gonna launch it. And what I expect to see is a UI that shows a list of local area restaurants and a search bar. That's it, right? Um, if you can get to this point, you've done good for today, right? And this is a good, this is a, a, a good thing to be able to happen. I'm gonna shut this down. I will also show you something else that you probably wanna to get to work, which is great. So up here, there is a task called grade. And the way you run this is by selecting it and then hitting the play button. Now this is gonna run a bit. It's gonna think a little bit. Oh, by the way, this warning is totally safe to ignore. I have tried for many, many, many times to figure out how to get this to go away and it just won't go away. So uh, I'm sorry about that and it's gonna be there the entire time, but it's totally safe to ignore. Um, and I understand that it's experimental and it's been working fine for us. Okay, so, so this is running away and it's running some tests on your code right now, which are going to fail. And we're gonna talk about why they're failing tomorrow as we introduce you to some of the code in the MP and walk you through sort of how to get started. Now, now it seems a little confusing. It's like what happened, it's not running anymore. If I click on this, you'll see that something went wrong. Now, one of the tricks and, and you've had some practice with this, but this is taking this to another level. When you start working with more complicated tools like Android Studio, when things go wrong, sometimes they'll barf up a huge amount of output at you. And you have to kind of like go through it a little bit strategically to kind of try to figure out what's going on, right? Um, and you know, you look for things where it says like, what went wrong, right? Here's an example, what went wrong, right? Execution failed, blah, blah, blah. Invalid number of computer, uh, contributor, contributors, contributors, contributors in the identification file. So the reason for this, and one of the things that we're gonna do right now and right away, is that when you get the MP, you need to link it to your at Illinois account. Here's how we do that, okay? Um, there's a file in here called id.txt. It is currently blank. What you need to do is you need to go to the website, and I, uh, let's see, I think I just re, I just closed that, so I'm gonna reopen it, yeah. So you need to go to the website and you need to get this, uh, yours is gonna be different, right? So in the same place on the page, there will be a little box that looks like this and it has an ID in it. So you're gonna copy that. Do not copy mine, right? Do not copy mine, do not copy a friend's. If you do, that will put you at, at a significant risk for committing an academic integrity violation. You have your own ID, you should not share it with anybody. This is sort of like a password in a way, right? So you put that ID into the id.txt file. All, you only have to do this once, right? We'll talk tomorrow about how to submit things officially. One thing else I wanna point out is when you run this grade task, this is not official grading. This is a, something that runs on your machine. We will talk tomorrow about how to submit your code for official grading and see your scores on the website, right? You're, you are not done, you have not earned any number of points on any checkpoint for this project until you see your official score on the course website. This grading task that we provide runs the same tests that we run when we grade your code for real, it just runs them on your own machine and in an unofficial way. Okay, so now I've identified myself, I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna hit grade again. 
And now this time what's going to happen is actually we're going to see what you would normally see as the output from the grader after, after running this, running this uh, grading task. Okay, so this is going to think for a while, it's going to run for a while, um, and it's running some tests on your code. Those tests are going to fail. We're going to talk about why they're failing tomorrow as we introduce you at a very high level to some of the code that's in the MP. But this is the output that you would normally expect to see, right? Um, so there is a, there's a test that's not working that we need to fix. And then there's, uh, and we'll talk a little bit about, about what DTECT is as well uh, later on. Um, okay, so, um, so this is a great starting point. If you can get to this point today, that's all you have to do, right? You got Android Studio installed, you installed Git, um, you got the starter code, you got that code imported into Android Studio. Uh, maybe you set up an emulator, also a great thing to do. That can take a little while because it can be slow to download. Uh, you've been able to run the grade task, get everything set up. If you can get to this point, you are in very, very good shape. Um, one thing I want to point out is that the first time you run this grade task, it may be quite slow because there's this big download that's happening, right? It didn't need to happen for my machine because I already had that particular uh, content uh, on my machine, but it might take a little while for you. So, so anyway, that's the stopping point for today, right? And if you can get this far, you've done really good work, right? And we'll pick up uh, tomorrow and talk at a high level about some of the code inside the project and point out some of the things that you need to do to get full credit for the first checkpoint.